So you probably heard about Runway, the video AI model that's been making some news. Take a real life video and then add a theme or an art style or another photograph and it outputs a new video in that style. Very cool. You can use words and images to generate new videos and it keeps on getting better and better. Today they dropped the brand new thing that people have been waiting for. Text to video. Type in any prompt and it creates it. Similar to Dolly or Midjourney, you create prompts and the AI tries to imagine what they would look like. Is it completely mind-blowing and about to put Hollywood out of business? Well, no, it's not quite there yet. But it's getting interesting, and at the rate that AI is progressing, this could get really good really fast. People on Twitter are already putting together several prompts to create short mini-movies that seem thematically correct. Movies about space, westerns, etc. This is going to be great for content creators and anyone who needs clips of random stuff for their presentations or videos or just to troll their friends. You can try it on the web or on the iOS app. It's free, but you can get a monthly account to have more cool features, more access, etc. So go to runwayml.com. ML stands for machine learning, I assume. They have a number of AI tools. You can train your own generator as well as some tutorials for you to try. I'll also show you some of my results, which were comical to say the least. So the new one is Gen2. That's how you can generate video with text prompts. And it also has a little inspirational thing. You can get inspired and use one of their prompts. So for example, if you wanted to do, let's say this little futuristic city with greenery, here's a prompt that they would use for that. And then we would click generate. This will probably take a few minutes. And there it is. If you click play, it'll show you how that looks like. And you can train it to do better or worse, improve the uh, model. You can also add an image and then use that, let's say this World of Warcraft image, so that it influences how this generates. So let's try that again. All right, and that's how it's gonna look like. It looks like it's got a little health bar here. Hey, that's looking pretty good. It's looking a little bit more like World of Warcraft. It's got some text to sort of show the user interface. Besides that, you can uh, do video to video. So we can change one video to look like another. You have this is Gen 2 text to video we just tried. You can also remove backgrounds, do text to image, which is similar to Dolly and uh, Majority, et cetera. Change different images and train your own generator, which uh, we might talk about at a later time, as well as some tutorials. So I've tried this uh, video to video. It's pretty interesting. Here are some of my results. So here's a clip of me driving uh, next to kind of where I live. I'm not holding the camera, so don't worry about it. It's just sitting there on the dashboard. Notice we're approaching the light. You're gonna see this scene transformed in just a second. So here's that exact same clip reimagined. Notice you can still see the dashboard. You kind of see where the street lights are on the side, and we're gonna be approaching the street light right about now. There it is emerging into view. Here's a stock footage of a girl on a skateboard. This is what it normally looks like. You can get this off of uh, stock footage websites. At first I tried this. So it turned her into an animal, and then it also turned the environment into an animal. Here's my first attempt at making this look good. Looks weird. This was another attempt, again, kind of weird looking. The trick to making it look good was to set it to modify just either the background or the foreground, but not both at the same time. So here's how that looks like if we just modified the background. Here's a different background for that. And here's another one with a swipe to show the difference. So all in all, it's pretty cool. You just have to know how to use the various settings and test out a bunch of different things. Some of it ends up looking pretty cool. Some of it does not. This is an octopus cartoon. Here's a robot smiling. You're welcome. So if you get too fancy, it gets a little weird. So for example, this is an orca breaching and catching a bird. So I kind of understood what I was saying, but this doesn't make sense. Here's an astronaut floating through space. Pretty good. So there's tons of things to try here. If you have the patience to sit here and tweak with it and figure out what works, what doesn't, you can do a lot. I mean, the, the power's there. It's still kind of beta. It's not really, you know, foolproof, but there's definitely a lot of things going on that, 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 that make it very interesting. You can do different generation with different prompts. You can have presets. You can add an image. 
So there's a lot of different things that are going on here. And as you can see in the intro, the final outputs can be pretty impressive. They're pretty interesting, especially if you add some music to it, kind of clipping together, etc. So if you're curious, try it out. And I guess also don't believe everything you see. I feel like we're going to see some pretty crazy videos coming out with this.